Stephen Timms. Thank you, Chair. Um, can I just start by welcoming two recent decisions of the government? One to make permanent the extension of free school meals to children and families with no recourse to public funds, and the other to extend the widen the online safety bill to uh, tackle scam adverts. Both of the yes. subjects we've talked about before these meetings. That's right. I welcome, yes. welcome those uh, decisions. I, I wanted to ask you today first um, about a, a letter that was sent to you by the chair of the UK Statistics Authority, Sir David Norgrove, yes. on the 24th of February. You mentioned earlier we haven't got enough people in in jobs uh, at the moment. We haven't got enough people in lots of vacancies. Um, his letter to you, dated the 24th of February, um, said this, the first couple of sentences. You said at Prime Minister's questions yesterday that there are now more people in employment than before the pandemic began. According to the latest ONS figures, it is wrong to claim that there are now more people in work than before the pandemic began. The increase in the number of people who are on payrolls is more than offset by the reduction in the number of people who are self-employed. Do you, do you accept that correctly? Yes, uh, and I, I, I do, and I, that's why I took particular care. Uh, today, uh, mindful as I am of, uh, of Sir David's um, uh, um, uh, chastisement, uh, on all occasions I, I, I stressed that it was payroll uh, employment that I was talking about. But there, I mean, there, I, there, there were 400,000 more, there are now 600,000 more uh, people on uh, the payroll than there were uh, before the pandemic began. And that is not half bad. Uh, when you consider uh, what we were predicting, we, 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 we was, everybody was talking about 12% unemployment, uh, yeah. I seem to recall. Yeah. Um, his point in the letter is that the increase in the number of people on payrolls is more than offset by the reduction in the number of people who are self-employed. And you accept that that's correct? Well, uh, yeah. I think that the, uh, my, 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 big, my overall picture, uh, I think, is, is right, that the... Um, the employment record of the government has been absolutely outstanding. When you consider yes. uh, that people were seriously predicting that after COVID, uh, we were yes. going to have uh, not only huge backlogs in, in our uh, public in, in, in health care, but also unemployment running at, at 12%. Yes. Uh, that, has, that has been very, very far from the case. I, mean, it's, it's certain, I completely agree. It's understandable why it is that employment now is lower than it was before the pandemic. I just wanted to confirm that you recognise that total employment is now less than it was before the pandemic began? Well, unemployment is actually... Un no, unemployment. Un employment, I'll ask you about. I mean, well, if I can... The, the figures yeah. from the, the latest statistics are that the number of people in employment most recently is 32.493 million. The quarter immediately before the pandemic it was 33.073 million. So employment, there is a, there is, employment now is less than it was there before is, the pandemic there, began. You're making a very important point. I mean, un, it depends how you look at this. Unemployment is uh, is now back down to, which is the thing it that, is. that it is. when when uh, we were growing up, that was the thing that we were worried about yeah. Uh, yeah. because that was the terrifying thing that happened to people. They were, they were slung out of their jobs, yeah. and uh, it was awful in the 80s and the 90s, and, and we remember that. Well, now that is that is low. Yeah. That's back down now to pre-pandemic level. Yeah. That's 3.9 yeah. percent. What we've, what we've got at the but moment... employment is still is, less than it was so before. The although payroll employment is higher, you, what you're pointing to uh, is a very interesting thing, which is um, the self-employed, uh, for reasons that um, you know, everybody's trying to, to get a handle on, it, it looks as though large numbers of people, uh, possibly in their 50s, yep. uh, are deciding that what with one thing or another... Yep. Uh, they want to do something else. Yeah. And, and some of them and have gone to the payrolls, which is why the payrolls are higher. Some of them perhaps have gone on to the, to, to yeah. the payrolls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some, yeah. Some, of them, some of them are, are doing um, other things. Yeah. And, and so, so, what, so, so, so actually what we want to do is to find ways to of helping those right. people back into, right. back into work. Quite right. And... Um, and, and get them because they have fantastic skills yeah. to, to on, contribute. On the employment point, you have said in the, the commons nine times, I think, that the number of people in work is higher now than it was before the start of the pandemic. I think you've recognised this afternoon that those statements were incorrect. I think I have repeatedly, and I, I, I think I took steps to, 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 to correct the record uh, earlier. Have you? Ah, I, didn't, I, I hadn't seen that. I, I think I did. Yeah. I, I think I, think, I, think I, think I did. But I, I've, I've certainly, I certainly was very. 
I've been very punctilious to, to talk about payroll employment, uh, Mr. Timms. But there is there is a there is a very interesting thing, which is that people in there, there's, there's something happened, yeah. which is that people uh, in uh, at certain stage in their life are not. Are not, are not deciding to go back into the yeah. uh, into but the labour force now. That is, uh, is that important. is so we have we have a, we have vacancies now at one point two five million yeah. record job vacancies, yeah. and we and and frankly those those people have some of the skills we need. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're probably short in this economy, yeah. and one of the one of the pressures that we have on uh, on supply chains and on inflation is we're probably short about five hundred thousand pairs of hands yeah. to do crucial things, mm-hmm. and many of those pairs of hands belong. To those people in their fifties who've decided to do something. Else. Now, I, one I of our to, challenges I, I, is to get those people back into work. I completely agree with that. Um, 